Louisiana Beer Review Special Edition. This is Sierra Nevada Hot Bullet Magnum Edition Imperial IPA Revisited. So I did a duo review with my friend David. We weren't too thrilled with this one. He found this at Rouse's. Got the six pack, I think, for $9.99. We thought it tasted like, sort of like a high gravity malt liquor, but it's hard to say. We did a lot of you know, when we're doing one review after the other on a Saturday, you start things start getting confused. 9.5% alcohol, 48 bitterness units, introduced in late 2023, December. They say it's available January to March of 2024. Whether they bring it back in another year, I don't know. See, it says packaged December 14, 2023 at 2.03 p.m. Um... Probably in Mills River, North Carolina, because I'm located east of the Mississippi River. We usually get, we'll get the east side of the river now. If, if I was in Lafayette, Lafayette, or Lake Charles, Louisiana, or Alexandria, Louisiana, or Shreveport, Louisiana, probably coming from California, I, I think. So I like the copper label. You know, it's cream, uh, yeah, like cream colored copper green and white. It's a sharp looking label. I got to give them credit with that. They use crystal barley malt and two row pale barley malt. They also use oats, wheat and white wheat. So it's a multi-grain beer. Oats and wheat. Okay, they say, well, the German purity law was amended to allow wheat as, an, as a non-adjunct ingredient. Well, they didn't add oats, so oats is an adjunct, even if you go by the German purity law. So it's an adjunct ale. They use Eureka hops, Helios, Idaho 7, and Magnum. Those are the four hops. Gets a 91 outstanding on Beer Advocate. Over 100 check-ins. Um, going to take a while to read all those. And a 79 on Untap, which is very high for Untap. Most beers don't even get close to 80. This is right on top, uh, right on the cusp of 80, I mean to say. I guess it's only sold in cans. They might have it on draft at their um, their brew pubs. Uh, seem like they're they're tr really transitioning toward cans and seeing less and less bottles. We do get torpedo and Sierra Nevada pale ale in bottles still, but it seems like everything else is coming out in cans all right so we get a bone colored head and from the sun shining through it about an 85 degree angle there midday uh, I'm seeing gold and lots of suspended particles can I see through it I can see through it yes and it shows a reflection actually also like a mirror so yeah I can see through it in some sense more translucent and transparent but it's certainly not opaque with the sun shining at it yeah same thing get that mirror effect mirror effect which you don't usually get with too many beers so that's interesting oh it's pungent like a strong 9.5 well it's pungent it's like um a grain drink which is what it is. A grain drink. All right. It's like a wheat bread, which is half wheat on the malt side. Fermentable side. Pungent. Oof. But it's not really like citrusy or, or hop resin that you get with a lot of hop a lot of IPAs and I think the problem here I haven't even tasted I'm telling you about the problem it's only 48 bitterness units if I see some something coming in at 9.5 I think the bitterness units should be around 95 at least 85 48 is too low that's why it's more like a, just a strong ale I mean that style, American Strong Ale, more than India Pale Ale. But anyway, let's go into taste. It's been a couple of weeks since I've had it.
It's got like brassy hop bitterness, sort of like a metallic. I haven't eaten brass, but <laughs> and there's a yeah. They might have talked about this on the website, like a citrus rind, like grapefruit rind or something, peel, I don't know. But it's not really bitter, it's just the taste of that, you know, and grapefruit is extremely bitter. But uh, it's the flavors of that, but not really with the bitterness. I'll say bitterness is three out of five hop cones, and I, I think it should be at four out of five minimum. So to me, it's under under bittered. Um, sweetness is like four out of five sugar cubes, so it's sweet and very malty. Like an American strong ale. Um, high medium bod, high medium body. It's a mostly dry finish, probably like 65, 35, 65 percent very quiet today. Where's all the compressed air and the power motors? Let's hope they never come back. I do hear cars on the United States Highway, major highway connecting New Orleans to Minneapolis, but even there, they're quiet rubber on asphalt automobiles cars trucks 18 wheeler freight these ales can carry the alcohol better than the high gravity malt liquors or lagers and they use adjuncts, sometimes rice, typically just corn syrup, brewer, brewer syrup, as it's called. Uh, but there's something about a chalkiness with those, and I kind of... It's not really a cloying, that's like over-sweetness, just like a... I think it's like an over-malty, like, kind of grossness, but... And it could be something with a lager, the way it's aged, you know the 28 days clarifies it and whatnot but it maybe doesn't hide that thing but the ales the top fermenting ales they usually won't have the chalkiness and they ha they don't have that what I just described so they can carry the high if you're gonna do a high alcohol beer nine or above probably come out ahead doing an in an ale format um, yeah definitely so as an IPA I'm not buying it I don't see it it just doesn't work so I would give it as an IPA, I'd give it a B, 84 out of 100. It's good. I mean, everything they make is basically good. Um, even the little thing series, which we're not thrilled with at all, the worst one in there will still be good. You know, it just not as good as you want, or as good as we want, or as I want. Um, as a beer overall, which is what it is, it's a beer overall. Um, probably about 95 most excellent so if you just pay no mind to the style and just say oh I'd love to get a nine nine that was a good deal 999 for a six pack of American strong ale a strong ale made in America let's say that don't even call it the style I want to get a strong beer let's just say it like that <clears throat> brewed in America at a, in a craft beer, start, you know, in a craft beer, as we say, 
for $9.99. And I want it to be really good, regardless of the style. Oh yeah, this is it. This is it. And you could maybe make that argument with Tropical Beer Hug that it's not, it's just not the right designation, but um, that's another delicious one. And that's coming in at what, 9.5? All right, so yeah, I would not drink more than one of these a day. But on its own, it's great. So all of those uh, problems aside, it is a 95, a most excellent beer. And I'm going to end this review by saying Les Alais Bon Ton Relay. Y'all go to North Carolina or California and take a brewery tour.